All right. Welcome. Thank you so much for taking some time out of your day to learn about cannabidiol, phytocannabinoids, and nano-enhanced hemp oil. My name is Brenna Moore. I'm a holistic health practitioner on the Big Island of Hawaii. I'm also a licensed massage therapist. And I have been with this company, Prime My Body, for about six months now. It's just been amazing. I have been able to share this oil with a lot of people and gotten just incredible, incredible stories and results uh, with people. So our oil is a supplement that's regulated by the FDA. So I can't make any medical claims or tell you that it's gonna heal, treat, or cure any condition. But if you're curious about um, hemp oil and cannabinoids and what they can do for your health and certain conditions, I just encourage you to go onto Google. Um, you can Google projectcbd.org forward slash conditions, and that will give you a whole list of um, different conditions and PubMed studies that are associated with those conditions. All right, so I'm joined with um, Dr. Jade McGath, who is has become a friend of mine, and she's just a wonderful, wonderful uh, human being. She is an OBGYN in Waimea, Hawaii, and she specializes in balancing women's hormones and just really helping women to feel their best in their body. And so, hi, Jade. <laughs> hi, thank you so much. Yeah, uh, let's dive into the endocannabinoid system and um, what is it? <laughs> So yeah, I've been Western trained, I'm board certified OBGYN for many years and um, have always wanted to practice integrated or functional medicine, trying to find out what's the best way for a person to be healthy. Um, does it involve prescriptions? Does it involve vitamins? Does it involve uh, massage therapy, acupuncture, you know, whatever, whatever a human might need. And um, certainly in all my years of training, no one talked about the endocannabinoid system. So I've always been a supporter of legalizing the sacred plant, not even knowing the depth that cannabinoids and humans have been closely working together all thousands of years. There's a 5,000 year old Chinese manuscript working with cannabis seeds for health. So, as I jumped into the endocannabinoid system, I am in awe at how much work has actually had been done on that around the world. In the US, we weren't allowed to use any of the plant for any research in the last 100 years when they made, quote, marijuana, psychoactive cannabis, when they made that illegal. And so now, fortunately, citizens have studied and shown and worked with the cannabis plant either psychoactive or not psychoactive for long enough now that we've been able to legalize it and get our own personal experiences going with it. Um, I am just fascinated with the way cannabinoids can help us achieve homeostasis. So um, nowadays we're living in a time of quite a bit of stress and chaos. So that fight or flight mechanism is called the sympathetic nervous system. And we're constantly on guard, on alert, ready to fight the saber toothed tiger. Our DNA still thinks it's 3000 years ago. But when we're constantly in fight or flight, we don't detox, we don't heal, we don't repair. Our guts stop working. We're not restoring nutrition. We're just using it up just in case the saber-toothed tiger shows up. So some of the beautiful things that the endocannabinoid system can help us with is bringing us out of fight or flight, bringing us out of sympathetic, back down to parasympathetic, so that when you are more calm, you get to make your daily choices out of a place of options, not a place of, is the saber-toothed tiger going to get me? So that's some of the, the areas I've begun to explore and really appreciate from the work that cannabinoids and our endocannabinoid system can do. Yeah, it's just fascinating the all the research that's coming out about the endocannabinoid system. And um, I know that we've received some amazing training by Dr. Shade, and um, I've read a lot of different books about the endocannabinoid system too. 
And one fascinating thing that I love is just about the way that it regulates inflammation in the body and that actually it, it regulates uh, gene transcription. So we have these different gene sets in our body that turn on and turn off inflammation and the, the phytocannabinoids come in and they help to downregulate certain gene sets that are say on a runaway loop of inflammation and you know just help that help our body to balance out in that way so i know that stress and inflammation is just at the root cause of so many illnesses that we see out there that you know people are dealing with all the time they say stress is the new smoking and i think it's true (laughs) the new addiction right well i mean it does become it becomes your norm right so then one of the cannabinoids that we make in our endocannabinoid system is anandamide and the other is 2-AG. And we have CB1 receptors and CB2 receptors. So the CB1 is related to the nerves. All the nerves throughout the body can use that. And the CB2 is related to our immune system. So 2-AG is a huge part of our immune response and how we help our body back to homeostasis from something foreign. Mm-hmm. And, nice. and yeah, and like um, my very favorite an endocannabinoid is called anandamide. And as a yogi, a yoga practitioner for many years, I know that the word ananda means bliss and this is a specialized like neurotransmitter that we really need to have in in abundance in our bodies and um, unfortunately when we become deficient in our production of anandamide uh, all kinds of things can go wrong with our mood you know we can not feel as good as we're meant to feel Um, our ability to process memories can go off a little bit in in the case of um, like memories where there are certain things that we need to forget, like a traumatic events that happened to us, whether it was a traumatic event in our life or like a stressful day at the office that we just can't shake. When our endocannabinoid system is fully functioning and we, when we have lots of anandamide happening and it's getting into those receptors, um, we're able to stay in the present moment and not go into those um, loops of um, traumatic memories, basically. So phytocannabinoids come in and they help to uh, increase the production of anandamide in 2-AG. So I just think that that is really at the basis of what these, these molecules from this plant can do for our body. They come in and they really nourish and they help our body on such a deep level. And that's why I'm just so in love with our oil and what it does and and also the delivery system that this oil comes in so jade do you want to talk for a sec about this nano liposomal delivery and how yeah um dr chris shade is a phenomenal scientist and has spent his life working in detox programs heavy metal programs and helping the system again back to homeostasis and um when you can take the oil and put it in the tiniest particle, a nano, a millionth of a meter, the tiniest particle, and surround it with phosphatidylcholine and substances that mimic our cell walls. You can put the dose just under your tongue and hold it for 30 to 60 seconds and get almost 85% absorption. So a lot of people are dealing now with leaky guts, bad guts, poor guts, right? So you don't have to wait for a substance to go through your gut and get into the system. It gets right into the system. And again, that tiny particle fits right between the cell walls, right? It can go right where our body wants to use it. Um, Interesting one called autophagy. Mm -hmm. So a cell, all our cells are programmed to have a lifespan. And then as they deteriorate, something breaks down in them, they're supposed to die or eat themselves. And when we have a good amount of cannabinoids on board, that system is in, in the balance instead of the unbalance of overgrowing. So when a cell is overgrowing and not paying attention to its DNA heritage, that's one of the things that we start thinking of as cancer. 
Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So if we can help promote our normal homeostasis systems, our normal recycling of our cells, that's going to keep us healthy too. Yeah, that's so awesome. And it's really amazing, the research that's coming out about that. It's fascinating. And I'd encourage all of you guys that are watching this video to, to really do that research and look into it. So uh, Jade, why don't you tell us what inspired you to say yes to Prime My Body as opposed to anything, any other, you know, hemp oil that you found on the market? What really resonated well, with you? As you know, here in Hawaii, we do have a lot of people uh, growing their own medicine, right? But we have a lot of people susceptible to mold. We have a lot of heavy metal in the soil left over from the sugarcane industry. And you... It's a lot of work <laughs> if you're making your own medicine, the processing, the growing. And then we don't know exactly um, what the doses are. Mm -hmm. The people that brought me to this product are highly evolved, spiritual, compassionate people. And interestingly, for two months, I had been doing this little online program of trying to clear my blocks and really move forward into my own abundance life. And bam, this oil showed up. And to me, it was a huge gift. It's a huge gift to me that the people have access to the sacred plant again, because it is symbiotic with us. Mm -hmm. We use it, it uses us, we help each other. And so a, a product that's, um, you know, no mold, no heavy metals, um, norm, you know, sustained dose every time you know exactly what you're getting and people that are involved in this from their heart and soul. That's got me. <laughs> Again, we're the Wild West. We're a startup. You know, there's lots of <laughs> aggravations and whatever, and, but it's, it's, it's evolving before our very eyes. Yeah, I really choose. Moving forward before our very eyes, and I can't wait to go to the conference in November. Yeah, me too. I'm excited. And I, through all of this, I choose to stay with the blessing that we know about this product and we know about this company. We were blessed to hear about this opportunity within the first year of this oil coming out onto the market. And so that is just really an incredible opportunity. Um, and for myself, uh, you know, I didn't see myself being involved in any kind of a direct sales company. It wasn't something that I went out of my way looking for um, at all. But when um, my really dear friend, Dara, called me and introduced this oil to me and, and told me what it was doing for her, I just said, yes, okay, sure, I'll try it. Mm -hmm. I ordered my 10 pack and I immediately started, I just fell in love with the oil and what it was doing for me. And it was so easy to share it with um, with my clients, with my friends and my family. Um, it just it was, it had been hard to like even keep bottles on hand actually in, you know, in the beginning. And, um, it's just been an amazing journey. I, I really want to say that there is a power to this, um, network distribution model. Um, I also had been praying for something that could bring me, um, some passive and residual income you know, in the years to come. As I passed my uh, 40 year, 40th birthday, it's, it was a time in my life where I started to realize that yes, I needed to get my financial SHIT together. <laughs> and I was also praying for an opportunity like this. And, and I've just actually been blown away that, um, that this business model works. And if, you know, we don't make any claims or guarantees of income, but really, um, if you put your heart and soul into it and you put the work into it, there is an opportunity here. Um, so do you have any other words, Jade? Actually, never met thinking I would be a marketer or an affiliate. Um, recreating the web is a really important thing to me right now on the planet. So as we are bringing this oil back and forth between humans, not the big box store, not the corporation, that's an extra blessing. We're recreating the web. I agree. I agree. All right. So thank you so much for taking this time. And um, if you're watching this, just please get back to the person that sent you this video. And we really wish you all the best. Aloha. <laughs>